Hey everybody, Dal Phoenix here and I've got a product review of something that I've really been looking forward to. As you may know, the Nintendo Entertainment System is my favorite game console of all time. Uh, this just has the best library of games. This is what I grew up with and this thing is just fantastic all around. I mean, it does have some crappy games, but overall, some of the best games ever made were put on this bad boy. This thing also resurrected the console market, but that's not what we're reviewing today. Uh, see, with the NES, there was a couple different ways you can play games. There were third-party controllers, of course, and then if you wanted an official solution from Nintendo, you had the old classic square rectangular type right there that most Nintendo systems came with. And then later on, they also released the Dog Bone controller, which was kind of like the last revision of the NES, what they uh, used for this here. Uh, both of them are pretty good controllers, I must say. Um, I'd say the D-pad's a little better on this one, whereas the buttons and things like that are a little bit more comfortable on the dog bone. They're roughly about the same overall as far as controller quality. But unfortunately, they pale in comparison to controllers we have nowadays. You know, controllers like the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 just eclipse the NES controllers in a number of different ways, including nice, comfortable handles, analog triggers, as well as analog sticks, just to name a few things, of course. Well, you might be wondering, the NES is kind of stuck in the past, right? I mean, there's no way it's going to have that stuff, right? Enter the Retro Fighters Jab Pad. This is a brand new third-party controller uh, from Retro Fighters, and this thing is very nice. Look at it right here. You see, it's got a shape very similar to the PlayStation 4. I mean, they practically stack on top of each other. It's awesome. But uh, this controller, I was able to get it from Amazon for a mere $24.99 with free shipping via Prime. And uh, I've been really enjoying this controller. Now, you might be wondering, why is there right analog stick on there? I couldn't tell you why. I haven't found a reason why they have a right analog stick. But everything else is very sweet, and I'll go ahead and explain that. So, first of all, you have the D-pad. Uh, the D-pad, your thumb sits in there really nicely. It's it's got a little bit of a concave going on there, so your thumb rests very nicely. Um, it's very responsive. It's not as tight as the original NES controller D-pad, but it's almost there. It's like 95% there. I was able to excel with games like Contra and Mega Man 2, no problem using the D-pad. Uh, the buttons, of course, are fantastic. They also have a little bit of the concave action going there. And... Uh, you know, I really enjoy also how you can have your thumb over both of them easily. Which, of course, was not easy to do on the NES because you had to kind of do hold it sideways. And it's just uh, not the most comfortable way to do it. Whereas this is a much more natural position here for it. Uh, this is great for games like Double Dragon or River City Ransom where you have to hit both buttons at the same time, say the jump for example, or any other games where you have to do that. Say you have a game where you're running and shooting, like say, for example, you know, Super Mario Brothers with a fireball. You can kind of hold this down, use A to jump, of course, with the tip of your thumb right here, and then, you know, rapidly tap at the same time to shoot your fireballs. It's very awesome. Now, the triggers, you guys might be wondering, well, why are there triggers? Um, I couldn't tell you why there is, but they are a very awesome feature to this. Uh, because as you see right here, we've got the B buttons right there on the triggers, and then we've got the A buttons on the other side. So say you're playing a game like Contra, like I mentioned there. Um, if you don't have Turbo on, you're going to be hitting this button quite a lot, and it can really put a wear on your thumb over an extended period of time. So you can give your thumb a rest by using the B triggers here, uh, which really works very nicely. Uh, they both do the same thing. These are both B buttons, these are both A buttons. So, that may also help people with uh, certain accessibility issues, like maybe um, their thumb is, you know, maybe they don't have a good thumb, for example. Maybe they don't have a thumb at all. Well, they can use the triggers to play NES games, instead of having to do something weird like, uh, like this, you know. Um, so that's really cool. And uh, it's also great for games like Rad Racer, because I love doing racing games with triggers rather than face buttons, and uh, I was actually able to do really well with Red Racer. Like, normally with this old thing right here, I was able to get the Navy Course 2. Um, I was able to get the Course 4 with this, and that's without even realizing that you have to hold up to get the fastest speed. So I think I did pretty good. If I realized the up thing, I probably would have been able to get farther than that even. 
Um, and then of course you have the analog sticks. Now this thing is great for games that require minute touches. Games like Marble Madness. Now normally when it comes to the NES controller and Marble Madness, I'm only able to get to like course two, which is a beginner's course. Uh, pretty terrible, I must say. That's because I suck at Marble Madness. I got to the silly course on this, which is stage five. I never even knew the silly course existed until I played with this controller. And that's just one thing I really like about this controller. It just offers a lot of versatility for the various games you play. I mean, the analog sticks can also be great for, say, shmup games. Uh, 1943, for example, played great with this. So did Life Force. So, you know, this thing is just fantastic. Um, now, I do have one complaint I do have to mention here. And that is with the turbo functionality of this controller. Yes, it does have turbo, but the way it utilizes turbo is not very user friendly. Um, and they don't give you any kind of instructions out of the box um, to tell you how to do it. Uh, essentially, in order to engage turbo, you have to hit turbo and the button that you want to turbo simultaneously. Now, it is good, as a matter of fact, saying you're playing a game like Mega Man 2 and you want a turbo shot, but you also want to jump normally. The turbo function with the way this works will allow you to do just that, so that's pretty good. But on the other hand, it's just not the most user-friendly way to engage turbo. I would have preferred a one-button thing, and then automatically turbo B, and then maybe again a turbo A, then again maybe turbo both of them. Um, or even the ability to engage the trigger separately. Like There may be some cases where you want turbo fire on your B button, but you want to be able to also use B just by tapping it. And uh, fortunately, the way this controller is designed, it does not work that way. So that's kind of a real shame. But otherwise, this controller is fantastic. It's more or less replaced this thing, as well as the dog bone, which I don't even know where it is right now. I must have dropped it on the floor. Uh, but uh, it's more or less a place those for most situations, for sure. Um, maybe if it's a game that's super intensive on a tight D-pad, I might use this instead, because the D-pad is just a tiny bit tighter on the response than it is on the Retro Fighters, but that's not knocking the Retro Fighters because it still plays fantastically. I'm still able to do great in games that require good timing like Mega Man and Contra, like I said before. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this video, and of course the new intro that I just had at the beginning of the video. Uh, don't forget to leave your comments below, and uh, if you're on VidMe, of course, upvote. If you're on YouTube, like if you wish, and uh, uh, but till then, uh, Dow Phoenix out.